Reading books and creating book talks is one of my favorite things to do. I'm Dr. Gustafson and sometimes kids even ask me how to create book talks. It's awesome. Let me let you in on a little secret. Shut the door though. The secret to better book talks is bring in the heat. H-E-A-T. Heat stands for hook, energy, audience, and time. The hook is the most important part of your book talk. Instead of starting with your name or the title of the book, start with a hook. Hook us in. You could start with a surprising fact, ask a question, share a picture, or a sound effect. <laughs> Do something catchy, something that gets us interested in your book talk. E stands for energy. What you have to say about your book matters. So say it loud and say it proud. It may seem funny at first, but you almost need to talk twice as loud as you ordinarily would. That way, when you start to whisper, your audience will really tune in. And speaking of audience, why should they care about your book? Other than the fact that your book is awesome and so are you. <laughs> Try to think of one thing your audience might be interested in. The key is to connect your book's content to your audience in a personal way. And T, T is for time. Try to create a book talk between 30 and 60 seconds long. Definitely keep it under two minutes, please. Working on time will actually require you to practice giving your book talk. Most people do a great job with the hook at the beginning, but they don't practice how to stop or end their book talk. Timing is everything, practice it. Now you know the secret. Now you know how to bring the heat. See if you can notice how I bring the heat. Hook energy, audience, and timing on this next book talk. I'm Dr. Gustafson. I'm the principal at Greenwood Elementary in Minnesota. Today I will be telling you about after the fall, how Humpty Dumpty got back up again. Psst, I'm kidding. There was no heat in that book talk intro. Let's roll the real footage. This book is perfect for anyone who's ever been embarrassed before. I remember running track in high school and wanting to win the race. Well, I leaned forward at the end of the race and I fell face first at the finish line. All my friends laughed at me over and over again. But the hardest part about that was they never talked about what happened after the fall. Because guess what? I got up. And that's why this story is so impactful. It's by Dan Santan and Humpty Dumpty gets up and it is beautiful. You've got to read it. Check it out. In what ways did you notice that I tried to bring the book talk heat? And what would you do differently?